Hello, I'm Sarah Salway and this is my flash fiction knitting. <laughs> knitting. You start simple and cast the husband on first. The bags of pink wool in the cupboard are kept under the stairs and you tremble a little as you needle in the dark curls, pull the small red strands for his nipples. Later that night, you wonder if you should have followed the pattern. His right shoulder is higher than his left, but at least only you knew, know you ran out of wool and his feet are blue. Next time, you'll order more pink. The house takes longer. You keep changing your mind. The vegetable garden becomes green kitchen units. Halfway through the roof, you pause. Rest your wrists, order bigger needles. You use crochet for the chimneys, important to keep stretching yourself. Your husband nods from his chair. You won't use stocking stitch for the brain next time, you think. Or ribbing. You do so many things differently. Because the truth is, you aren't happy. You keep trying new things, a mustard-coloured dog, a white conservatory, robins for the bird table. You ransack the interior for a rose pattern, stitch yourself the perfect English garden. The extension you did in cable stitch gives you somewhere to secrete your new lover. You order more pink wool, just in case. It doesn't make a jot of difference. You unpick the husband, amend the shoulders, improve his hand control, increase certain parts, leave the blue feet for sentimental reasons, but still nothing works. That's when you know what you have to do. The first row is agony. It's not called needles of pain for nothing. You console yourself that it must get easier as you become softer, so you keep going, drawing the threads of your skin together. Your fingers are the last bit to do, and just as you're about to give up, needles clumsily dropping to the floor for the umpteenth time, you feel a nudge at your side, a perfectly aligned upper body reaching forward and taking over. The roof leaks. There's a strange hanging, banging from the extension and you should have stopped up on the bird food. But you feel blessed. You are cushioned from life, your head nicely woolly. You've seen your husband rummage in the cupboard under the stairs, watched him hide the stash of pink wool where he thinks you can't get it. You know he's using your pattern to make himself a new partner but you still nod at him from your chair, your blue fingers clicking. Thank you.